And next we have the Te Kaha Project uh, Delivery Limited Governance Performance Report for quarters three and four. And I'd like to invite uh, David Kennedy uh, to come to the table. Um, and we've got Linda Gibb from the Resources Group with us as well. Happy to move. Sam McDonald, seconded. Aaron Kewan. Any questions? Yanni? Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, thanks. I, I did put some questions through yesterday. So, um, but just uh, appreciate that you've you've given a, a preliminary response. Um, but normally, when we get the annual reports for a number of the council companies, we'd get individual directors and how much remuneration has been paid to each one. Are we are we able to get a sense of that? You've just given me a sort of generic response. This is not the annual report. This is no, no, I know, report. but when the annual report comes, is that when it's going to be provided? We'll get the details. When, when the annual report's provided, yes. Okay. Um, and the other question I had was just in regards to um, the agreement to meet with some Pacific leaders around um, what was happening in regards to the issues that they had raised. Is there any update on what's been agreed and what the outcomes are? Yes, cool. there is. Thank um, you. Following their... Uh, representation at the council meeting when the council was considering uh, the the project last month, uh, the chairman of Takaha Project Delivery Limited, the chief executive of Venues or Tatahi, and um, Nigel Cox and one of the other staff members from within the council have met with the Pacifica community, and um, have gained an understanding of their history with and attachment to the site from 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 the from from their association there with their church um, and um, so we are working with them to see how we can recognize that history um, and the importance of the site to the Pacifica community and well, there's another meeting planned or scheduled with them uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks as to how we will go about doing that and so there's two components to I think the relationship one will be a recognition somehow probably within the public public realm uh, outside the building, and then the other will be an ongoing relationship with venues or Tatahi as to how they can interact with the with, with the building going forward. Thank you. That's a hugely positive outcome. Thank you, um, Aaron Kewan. Yeah. So just further to that, because I had the same question, I thought Yanni may ask it was uh, around that site. Given that none of the actual building itself sits on that former site on Cashel Street, uh, Madras Corner. It would, and, and working with them in that conversation, would they be able to put forward designs of what the landscape there may look like to be like a, a the official, almost the official Pacific corner of the stadium, like the Pacific <coughs> Gateway? Yeah, support? we're going to engage them as sort of almost like a consultant to help us with what they think would be appropriate there. So um, that, that hasn't been done yet, but that's the intention and that's the conversation we're having with them to see how we can do that. Yeah, so under the next lot of shareholder relationships and, uh, and and stakeholders, that will come into the report on picking up updates yep, on that. Yeah, and forward. we're doing the same thing with Night to Ahurere as well. Yeah, yeah, I saw that in here, which is which is great. So yeah, be looking forward to how that may may turn out. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Are there is there any debate? I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, amendments to delegations. 